What's up, movie buffs? I'm Jeremy, and movies are terrible. So I woke up on this fine Wednesday morning to realize that Loki was released last night on Disney+. Plus. So I got up first thing, and I watched it, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Not that that's a huge surprise. I'm normally a pretty big fan of what Marvel does. I'm bought in, you know? At this point, I've seen everything that they've put out, except for like, I don't know, a couple seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but you really can't tell me that's part of the MCU. I mean, actually, you tell me whatever you want. So the series kicks off at the very end of Endgame. You remember the scene where Loki ends up picking up the Tesseract and boom, disappears. Well, this is where he ends up, sort of. Well, first he ends up in another time and then he's apprehended by the TVA, the, the Time Variant Authority, and they're this huge bureaucratic system, kind of similar to the courts, and basically they make sure that the sacred timeline is, is kept in order. If any, if any beings try to slip outside of the, the way that things are supposed to go, then the TVA comes in and intervenes. The first episode really kind of shows us this world and the procedure that Loki has to go to, basically to just get checked into this place. Meanwhile, Owen Wilson's character is on the hunt for a suspect, another uh, variant who is wreaking havoc through different timelines. Uh, it's kind of a procedural. So we find out that that variant that's going around wreaking havoc, actually killing members of the TVA, just being a general bad guy, villain, is another version of Loki. Which is cool because it's a nod to a story arc that was in the comic books. Similar, not exactly the same. Looks kind of like that's the direction this series is going. As Owen Wilson is showing him this video monitor of all of his past transgressions and Loki eventually realizes, holy shit, I die in the future. Which, because this is the older version of Loki, so he kind of has a moment of, of clarity and realization again because it's very low-key to kind of waffle back and forth but he decides he's gonna go help owen wilson's character to put a stop to an evil version of himself and we're off to the races in addition to owen wilson and tom hiddleston who are both fantastic we've also got gugu and bathara and wamni masaku and i hope i didn't say those names wrong but they're both really good actors as well I really like the Art Deco 1950s retro futurist aesthetic. It blends nicely into the MCU while also being incredibly distinct. I think that kind of speaks to the broader uh, observation about what we're getting so far. There's a scene where it's revealed that Loki was actually D.B. Cooper and it was, it was a bet that he lost and I thought that was a lot of fun. And this series just seems like it can go off in fun and unpredictable directions. I'm, a, I'm along for the ride, you know? This is this is a show that I've been really looking forward to, and so far, it, it didn't disappoint. But that's just my thoughts on it. What do you think? Leave your thoughts on the Loki series down in the comment section below so that we can have a conversation, because believe it or not, the reason why I do these videos is because I love talking movies. So let's have a conversation. I'm Jeremy, and until the next video, be terrible.